Boy, that joker is nice. Yeah, a little something different. That blue looks good, don't it? It does, the anodized blue on it, it's matte black. It's matte finish too. Looks good. It does. Well, anything new and exciting this week? Cold and wet. It's definitely wet. <laughs> Could be worse though, if it drops about another four degrees, we'll be in trouble. Yeah, this weekend get interesting. Full show. So we never get snow, we just get ice. I know, it, it sucks. So, I think they, I saw yesterday where the Weather Channel was talking about it. It's, it's 27 years ago that we got the big ice storm, so. I remember that, it was fun too. And, uh, had to go without power for like three weeks. It was man, such a lovely experience. <laughs> I mean, which we lived in Tupelo then, and I mean, it, we, we were still without power for like a week. Yep. Everybody pretty much slept in the living room and stayed by the fireplace. <laughs> At least y'all had a fireplace. There's yeah. a lot of people that just had, uh, you know, the electric heat back then, and man, it was rough. I remember you, we'd go to town and they had generators set up where people could pump kerosene and gas and stuff like that. You couldn't find a gallon of kerosene. Oh, I bet not. They was people putting diesel in kerosene heaters. Ooh. And you can imagine the smoke it had to put in their house, but. That's still in those houses, I bet. I guarantee you if you're cold, like you can live with the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, but what new stuff you got on here? I got one of our new uh, half inch drive mid torque guns there. Yeah. That's a pretty cool rig. Yeah, that's the half mid torque. What's the poundage on it? 600 foot pounds of breakaway. I'm not seeing the fastening on it. Six hundred breakaway. That joker ain't heavy, is it? It isn't. It's balanced good too. And for size comparison, that's the high. Wow. Six hundred breakaway, twelve hundred breakaway. That's a big difference. Yeah. Got twelve hundred foot pounds and six hundred yep. foot pounds. And, uh, that joker's small though. It like, is. I'm I mean, surprised. you would think it was a three eighths gun, uh -huh. but it's a 600 foot pound half inch. Especially, I mean, if somebody just wanted something for home, but uh -huh. you know. Honestly, just, 600 is all you need. It is. On a half inch gun. 90% like, of the time, that's all you need. We have got so spoiled to the over high torque numbers. You know that Milwaukee and Milwaukee started that fight. You know, like when they come out with, I think the first one was what twelve hundred, and then they went up to fourteen hundred, and now people's like, oh, if a half inch gun ain't got twelve hundred foot pounds, I don't even want to look at it. But right, really, like you need to be using a Nine one inch gun. Time, you can work all day long, absolutely, with a half inch gun. You need to be using a one inch gun anyway when you're getting up those kind of numbers. That's ridiculous. At least three quarter. <laughs> <Yeah>. I mean, <laughs> but. Uh, yep. Oh, that's that flush, that coolant flush system mm -hmm. gun. That thing was cool. I seen it in the flyer. And then if you bought it with it, you also got that with it, I believe, is the way it was in the flyer. That's pretty nice right there. Mm-hmm. I like the way that you can slide that joker up and even, you know, especially Put like flushing a heater it. core. Man, that's so much easier. That's a nice setup right there. And, uh, finally got some more of the 2020 Streamlights in. Been waiting on a few of those to get here. I like those, and, and we actually talked about that the other day on my when I did a live stream. One of my buddies, he's like me, he's got multiple stingers. Mm -hmm. And I see you got some new colors. I've not seen the purple one. But uh, anyway, he's... Uh, He's like me, he's got multiple <coughs> stingers and he bought the 2020, you know, just because of the grip mm -hmm. and he talked about how much better he likes it. So, that's kind of got me one because I do. How's the battery on the 2020? 
I don't know. That. I like the fact that, like in my case, I use a vape anyway, so they run off of 18650s. So if you ever was working, you could take the batteries out of your vape and put it in your flashlight if you needed it. Or right. vice versa, like if you're out of vape battery and your flashlight's <laughs> good, you... <laughs> that's kind of nice, you know. But the grip on those is really nice. But I've got two of the the regular stingers. I've got a blue one and a black one. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the only thing that's kept me from buying the new one. But I want it now because of the way the grip's made on it. Yeah, but they're definitely easier to hold on to. No. Um, they're pretty salty, though. Like yeah. the, the difference between them and the, the stinger price was... And it's well, I mean, one, it's higher, and two, you don't have the piggyback charger or the extra battery with it either. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's something there too. But, uh, yeah, you're right. Considering you don't get the the extra battery, it's it's quite a bit higher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, and uh, but you know, it's personal preference. So. That's true. But, uh, that's the side of the. I got these in the other day too. Yeah, those were in the flyer too. The double, the double flex, it's the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So you don't have any skips. So I know some different sets you're able to find may have, not have all the numbers in one set. Yeah. You know. But that is the complete 8 through 19. And they're reversible too, aren't they? Uh, they're not reversible. Oh, those are Flip aren't? it over. Okay. Yep. Newer stuff I have in right now. Plus the other truck full. So what's the deal is Mac sold so many toolboxes because I have read more comments. My Mac dealer can't get me a box. I can't get a box. My Mac dealer's out of boxes. Like, what's what's but, the reason? Are they just selling that many? They the can't keep up? The way I understand it, they moved the plant. Okay, so that's probably so, why. I mean, it probably takes a know, while to do I that. Mean, when you move your whole toolbox manufacturing plant from one facility to the other, tear down, set yeah. up, and get back rolling and get caught up again, it just takes a little while. Yeah, I guess that's the reason why. Because I was like, man, I don't know. I said, my guy's got a or had a so, box on his truck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but and, everybody's uh, everybody's that I've read is is really complaining that. They, ain't just, get, they can't get a box. They can't get a box. They can't get a box. It's just taking a little while. Bear with us. Hang in there. Don't give up on us. You know, yeah. we'll be back cranking them out in no time. But <laughs> it's just taking a little while to get them right now. So, because we've had a couple on order for a while, but you know, it's just taking a little while to get them. Yeah. So, I guess that's to be expected. You know? Yeah. Had another one set up before they. Man, could you imagine the cost of that, though, having to double every bit of your equipment? And then what do you do with your equipment once you got the other one going? You know? I guess make twice as many boxes. <laughs> <laughs> but I can understand that as far as I can, because there's yeah. no telling how many millions and millions of dollars that equipment cost, you know, to bend that metal. Yeah. And, like, man, you know that's expensive. And the amount of just labor hours it would take to set up a plant like that, it's pretty got to be pretty impressive. So, so I don't know. I'd hate to have to uh take that under my belt to do. That'd be a chore for sure. <laughs> well did you uh I said there was another really good deal. Oh the buy one get one free sockets that was in there. I've got Somebody was asking if you still had some. I was like, I think so. I think we showed them like two or three weeks ago. I got one SAE set left and two metrics. I reordered on my metrics because they went quick. So I That was a really a, good deal. Was it buy the chrome, get the impacts free? Wasn't it? Buy the chrome, get the impact free. Uh, you and you could either buy the SAEs or the metrics and get the matching impact. Y'all boys so, better, and you still got some wrenches left. Got a few wrenches left. So, you boys better and, uh, jump on that, because y'all will all be sitting here about June. When they going to put them metrics back on sale? <laughs> when they going to put them metric yeah. wrenches back on sale? Snooze you lose, you miss out on them, but there's a few left. So. Yeah. 
I tell you, that's that's one of the best flyer promotions I do every year. The wrenches. Those sockets are really good, though. Yeah, I mean, it, that is. That, I have to say, that is one. You like know, when you can buy a set of sockets and a set of wrenches off a tool truck and it be good quality for less than 500 bucks or whatever it is, man, you better jump on that. Because mm -hmm. you can pay $500 just for a set of snap-on wrenches. And here you can get the wrenches and the sockets and a little change back. <laughs> uh, I mean, and just, I mean, even with the sockets, I mean, 269 bucks, I think, is one of the sets are. Yeah. And you get chromes and impacts mm -hmm. for 269 bucks. I mean, what's there to think about? Exactly right. Especially if you need them. <laughs> if you need them, <laughs> I mean, they could be $600 and you, you know. So, I believe that's the longest air hammer bit I've ever seen. Well, the air conditioner's got the best of that one, all that moisture on it, but. And, that uh, joker's long right there. Yeah, they do the. From time to time, they'll put these in with a their hammer deal and flyer. Yeah. You get the regular chisels that come in the kit, plus you get the long ones and the ball joint ones. But I try to keep the long pointed one and the long chisel one. Yeah. I can see where that long chisel one would be sure enough handy. I think an air hammer is probably the most underrated, but most, most valuable tool. But most annoying tool to run, though. Put your earplugs in and go for it. I don't know. If you ever tried to, to remove something without an air hammer, you can live with that loud clanking that it has and the vibration. <laughs> when you get it out, man, it's done got serious. You oh, know? yeah. And it's, it's usually going to do one of two things. It's either going to fix it or it's going to really, <laughs> really, really foobar the situation. There pretty much ain't no other. Like you come to the T in the road. You can take a left and fix it. Or take a right and you just made it worse. It's your decision. I run a couple of trailer shops and all day long those air hammers run in there. Yep. You dang near won't put earplugs in just to walk in there. Y'all use them thing. hook rivets a lot on them trailers, didn't you? And they'll sit there and just hammer on them trying to yep. get them done. You know. But. It's loud too, especially the guy inside that trailer. Big echo and box. You know, Man, so. I know we've done them before, and like I'd be inside working on some wiring, you know, and, and this and that, because a lot of our traders had the GPS and stuff on it. And man, you just want to, like, when you got through for the day, you just wanted to go home and turn all the lights out, and no TV on, and just cover your head with a pillow and just try to get your senses back in order. Definitely an interesting evening after being in a yeah. trailer with an air hammer banging on it. You definitely got plenty of goodies on here. So y'all having a virtual show, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Well, that's what they're telling us. Y'all gonna buy up a bunch of stuff? If they have anything in there on good deals that we need, we are. I don't know where you gonna put it, but I look forward to seeing it. Uh, you gonna start pulling a trailer. <laughs> it, Hang on, let me go back here in the warehouse. It's a full time job keeping it loaded and keeping it full. This thing will be a hundred foot long. You have to put a fifty three foot trailer behind it. As long as I don't have to drive it will be all right. <laughs> be like there comes the Mack train. <laughs> yeah. I know that day I rode with you when we went behind Midas. Man, that was tight there. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine trying to pull a trailer through nope. there? Woo. We put some rub rails on that him. joker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're gonna need them. Yeah. So. Well, y'all got any other cool specials you're running? Not a whole, you know, the flyer stuff right now, that's about it. Uh, waiting on some new goodies to show their face, so. Well, there you go. And, uh, I'm already starting to get the next flyer product in, so there's going to be some good deals in it. So. Yep. Can't beat that. Keep watching. There you go. All right, guys. Like always, thank y'all for watching. If you want one of those cool Montezuma boxes like that, there's a link in the description. Good for a little bit longer. You can save 10% off. That way you can see how cool they look. They look really good in person. Or one of the cool triangle boxes. 
But like always, guys, if you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check down there for that description for the Montezuma and some other coupons and discounts and all the goodies. If you like the video, thumbs up, merchandise, discount codes, and click that subscribe button. Just press it. That's all you got to do. Just push it. All right, guys. See ya.